the old nature is dead. <laughs> a big smile on my face every time I think of that. We're not responsible to kill it and keep and killing it. Remember that dying daily is about agreeing with God that you died and your life is now hidden with God in Christ. If you have old habits of behavior, the nature that causes those is dead. And when we see them, we agree with God and turn towards the new nature that he has for us to receive instead. So every recognition of a habit of behavior or thinking that is rooted in the old nature is a cause for rejoicing because it means that we're about to receive a gift. And who doesn't love a gift? We only use the recognition of our sin as a signpost that tells us what God, what God has for us next. And the word instead is a key word here because it keeps us focused on our life in Christ, not the old pattern of behavior that we're experiencing. We see this in Isaiah 61, which is the passage that Jesus used in Luke 4 as his identity statement at the beginning of his ministry, to give beauty instead of ashes, to give the oil of joy instead of mourning, to give the garment of praise instead of a spirit of heaviness. So for every negative, every place in our lives where old habits surface, God gives us the gift of its opposite instead. If fear is present, then perfect love is his gift instead. If anger rises up in us, then he comes with a gift of himself as our patience. If anxiety wants to overwhelm us, he brings the fruit of the spirit of peace to us. Make a list of those. On one side of a paper, list all the negatives you see in yourself. Then on the other side, draw a line from each one over to the other side and write God's opposite for it that he plans to give you instead. When you've finished, tear the first paper in half and throw away. Just like that old list of the accusation against us that was nailed to the cross. Throw it away and receive the new list. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this and for you as the gift of this. And let that become your prayer of thanks.